do you make your music with kind of a vision in mind like this is going to be a good festival track this is going to be a good beach track or are you just making what comes to mind I think it depends on the track. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you sometimes you'll have like a very distinct vision of this is what mm -hmm. I want to make. Other times you start somewhere and it goes a totally different direction. Yep. Um, yeah, but it definitely is a record by record thing. I'm never, yeah. I, I, I don't consistently happen to be like, I'm going to make this song today and then I go right. and I make it. It's like, right. you're like yeah, I want to make something kind of in this area. Mm -hmm. And you can make that happen. You need to have some sort of parameter mm -hmm. uh, to you know kind of fit into but yeah, absolutely it's never like hey my tracks can have one two three four five seven nine ten <laughs> and this is what it's going to sound like at yeah the end. and it just never seems to turn out that way there's no creativity involved when it's like that too no i mean i it's just music's just really funny because you you hear things in your head and you try and bring them to life mm -hmm. and when you do that it just it, it very rarely does it sound exactly does it turn out exactly like it sounds in your head and mm -hmm. so there's some sort of process that mm -hmm. happens where the, the, the idea kind of morphs yeah in that and um but yeah I, I i am very much a hey i need to make some more stuff in this world yeah for my sets or let's do something a little bit different that's a little bit change of pace mm -hmm. so I, i'll think like that but yeah. it very rarely is like i'm gonna make this record today and right because if you do like you're it, it gets really tough because you're, you're beating right? yourself up yeah. cause it's hard to make something great every day and then yeah. when you give yourself a really narrow lane to go down mm -hmm. it uh it can be tricky